a very good morning all of you welcome to this session vignan bharati institute of technology organized by department of electrical and electronics engineering in association with pantech e learning webinar on accelerating e vehicles to realization so first of all our sincere gratitude and we are humble thanks to vignana bharati vbit management dr g amarendra rao sir and special thanks to convener and hod madam dr neelima madam and coordinator sir dr s rajeshekaran sir so for accepting pantech e learning invitation and conducting this webinar accelerating e vehicles to realization so welcome to all the participants good morning all of you so vbit was sponsored by so was founded by 2004 2004 from the last 15 years it give in so much students to the society engineering students so here they are offering vbit college is offering electronics com electronics communication engineering electrical and electronics engineering computer science computer science engineering information technology in all the domains they are offering different courses and so the strength of each branch is around 240 students and so and the vbit management offering post graduation courses also so regarding electrical domain they are offering power systems and power electronics and drives related they are offering so myself srinivas luwala i completed my mtech in power systems today what is our content we need to discuss so electrical cars for a thought so what is our thought when you people need to design an electrical vehicle car so we need to question ourselves before that our company profile so pantech solutions was founded in 2004 we have seven branches more than 100 employees are working and we are already conducted more than 1200 workshops and we reach our knowledge around 8 lakhs 50000 students we given our knowledge and our best we given so and our portfolio research and development for industry projects faculty development programs hands on training and workshops internships and in plan trainings short term courses value added courses value added courses academic project training and customized design service and state of the art so which domains we are offering so which domains we are offering the courses and here electrical and electronics engineering electrical and electronics engineering and electrical engineering people we are offering internet of things artificial intelligence embedded system robotics vlsi fpga tms processors image processing open cv network simulation power electronics and e vehicle uh, computer science and it domain people we are offering big data data analytics internet of things python android application development data image and text mining cloud computing mobile computing so in all these domains we are offering different workshops and fdp programs we are conducting so today's session what is the content we need to discuss what is the content what is the wo content we will discuss here history of the electrical cars major components major components of an electric vehicle car and traction inverter types of battery on board charger dc to dc converter topology technology trend which technology is going in present uh, world growth of electric vehicles in india so what is the marketing strategies and phases are we are doing in india to promote e vehicle in india so what is the future scope 
and future and what are the standards international standards iec standard which standard we need to follow and some references also we will give here uh, you can observe so before starting about the electrical vehicle car we need to analyze some questions also so the well known ever met an accident so immediately the response team which you people are trained so you need to rescue those people right when you people are met an accident or fire accident or any major accident near to banjara hills if suppose met an accident at that point what are the, how you people will save that lives in that vehicle so you are made a, you are designed an electric vehicle car you are purchase, you are sell that car so then the customers will feel comfortable right when the people are buying your car then they will they will feel good and they will purchase and they will tell to other people also so then you need to make your product more you need to reach your product more people means you need to give good product so when you need to give good product what are the possibilities you need to think what are the questions in your mind you need to raise when an electric vehicle car you are implemented at that point what are the things you need to observe in your sir whether the governments are providing good policies or not whether the infrastructure surrounding areas is good or not so we can't run all the all the cars in all the areas right we need to flexible roads we need so the roads are good or not we need to observe so when you people are designed an electric vehicle car how to charge that electric vehicle car what is the battery capacity we need we need to think what is the battery capacity and how much battery means we can travel suppose you people need to travel 500 kilometers at that point how much battery capacity you need to put in your electric vehicle car you need to think so at this pandemic situation at 2020 we are sitting and we are talking about the electric vehicle and e vehicle so all the world is shifted to electric vehicles coming years in future generation we will see everyone will buy e vehicle only either e scooter or e rickshaw or e car or electrical buses also we will see coming next two decades we will see all over the world is shifted so why we need electrical vehicle cars means so we are observing right the whatever the fossil fuels all the vehicles now it is running with fossil fuels only right petrol diesel natural gas uranium these are all the fossil fuel as per ieee standard all these fossil conventional energy sources which will be disappear after 200 years so we need to use utilize these resources with an effective manner so we need to reduce the pollution and global warming we need to think about the global warming we need to give a good society to further future generation also so at that point we are shifted to the electrical vehicles so electric vehicle zero pollution we need to give zero pollution and noise pollution also is very less so here if you people are observing the well known electrical cars is first crude electrical vehicle car is developed around 18 1832 you can see here around 1832 the first crude electric vehicle car developed by robert anderson robert anderson was developed the first crude electrical car but he can't prove practically when we make a car when we are designed when we developed an electric vehicle car we need to prove we need to prove practically right so then only people will believe us so when we will attract when we need to attract the customer when we need to sell the our product with a huge manner means we need to give the solution in a practical manner so once it was the thought the first crude electric vehicle developed in 1832 but it takes time 40 years time it is taking to prove in a practical manner so around 1884 only the first practical car was introduced in european so the european english inventor he invented and he ride that car in 1884 so now the present generation so all over the world so this type of electrical vehicle car we are using so this information we gather www.energy.government and wikipedia dot also you can search means this information you will get and here the first ever hybrid electrical vehicle cars right so we are talking about the electric vehicle car so there are majorly how many types of electrical vehicle car you need to think so hybrid electric vehicle cars 
battery electric vehicle cars fully electrical vehicle there are majorly three types of electrical vehicle cars are there and first ever hybrid electrical cars the hybrid technology has been around for 120 years ago porsche was the pioneer porsche cars we are observing right porsche was the pioneer he invented the hybrid electrical vehicle car so now you people are think and you people need to start to design an electric vehicle car in the market so then at that point which type of drive you will use so the electric vehicle car means electrical ships aeroplanes trains e trains we are observing right so bullet trains so the the bullet trains are traveling with a few high amount of speed right so then which type of drive you will use any interesting electrical drives you will invent or you will develop a new uh, motor a new motor uh, any known hybrid drives are there we are traveling land air or sea so in these three areas we need to use the vehicles only so at that point which type of drive you will use so whether ac drive or hybrid drive which type of motor you will prefer so in present situation the united kingdom united states of america they are implemented united kingdom in their navy ships royal navy ships they are implemented 15 phase type of induction motor drive 15 phase asynchronous machine asynchronous spiral gauge type of induction motor they are implemented and that is working with an effective manner it will give high power density to run in a 500 tons of sh ship you need to run means so you need to give high power density right at input side so they are implemented 15 phase type of induction motor drive they given that name as a destroyer 2 destroyer two type of asynchronous machine they developed now us uh, america also they are trying to implement in their ships also so now in all our academic year we will study single phase uh, three phase machines only we will study but now the world is running with the 15 phase type of induction motor drives so we need to think ourselves so when how much uh, speed we need to drive our car or our e-rickshaw or our bike also we need to think then according to our thought we need to design a model of model of that car right so at that point the major part is motor only motor drive the power drive how much power drive we need to give so which type of motor you will choose so here look at here what are the thoughts to ponder over so when you raise some questions in your mind so in what are we need a we need to drive an electric vehicle car means compulsory inverter is our storage dc or ac so compulsory all our all our mobiles or laptops all the devices we are storing the energy in the form of dc only because dc is dc is uni, unidirectional power flow ac is bidirectional power flow control ac we can't store because we need to control their magnitude phase and frequency we need to think but in dc we need to observe only magnitude only or our motors are dc or ac so 20 years back if you observe in all our agriculture area we are using dc motors only so that dc motors we know series shunt compound machines we know so then but to maintain the dc machines to maintain the dc machines it to ma maintenance somewhat difficult and the losses be losses are more in the dc machine so ac type of motors most of the electrical automobile industry they are preferring ac type of motor drives so that motor it is a rugged motor it is all ac motors are rugged motor they will give high efficiency and low maintenance also cost also low so once you purchase an ac motor it will come near to five years five years it will come so that dc motor you need to operate also why not dc motor they are operating so the losses become more here why inverters are needed means when you are running with the motor which type of power supply you need in a motor ac supply so compulsory you are storing the energy where you are storing the energy in dc battery battery you are storing or super capacitor or fuel tanks you are storing the energy but you need to convert that dc into ac means compulsory we need inverter dc to ac converter topology we need how many types of converter topologies are there now t type multi level inverter so multi level inverter topology also recently they implemented not from the 1970s they are implemented multi level inverter concept in that multi level inverter concept starting st starting time they are implemented neutral diode clamped multi level inverter later they developed 
flyback capacitor based multi level inverter later they are implemented with cascade hatch bridge multi level inverter now in recent trend they are going with t type multi level inverter k type multi level inverter c type selective harmonic elimination so these type of multi level inverter they are important. so e machines electrical machines which type of machines you people will prefer magnetic machines non magnetic machines synchronous machines asynchronous we will well know about the synchronous and asynchronous machines so the main difference in between the synchronous and asynchronous is in synchronous machines the slip is, speed is constant in asynchronous machine we can't maintain the speed constant because in asynchronous machines when you people are giving the supply to the asynchronous machine at that time so it is rotated it will take that supply and rotate with some rotating magnetic field it is started to rotate with some synchronous speed ns is equal 120f by p at that point then that machine is running in a so electromagnetic induced EMF, flux will cut flux will cut means automatically induced emf will produce when the induced emf will produce currents will produce currents will give some force inside of the rotor it will start to rotate with some speed nr so nr is trying to catch the synchronous speed but nr always less than the synchronous speed nr always less than the synchronous speed so if nr is equal to ns means motor become standstill conditions so in between the asynchronous and synchronous machines the major difference is slip slip the major difference is slip so which type of machine you people will prefer that is your choice so according to your thought you need to select so different type of machine so some companies which are preferring different type of electrical drives in the, in the automobile industry so range extension series hybrid drives several volt bmw i3 so series hybrid type of drives they are using these companies they are using so several volt bmw i3 full parallel hybrid type of drives they are using toyota synergy drive company they are using full parallel hybrid milled hybrid drive bmw 320d rd a6 type they are using milled hybrid drive technology battery electric vehicles which type of battery you need to prefer so some companies tesla Faraday Future, Jaguar iPhase. So these companies, batteries, battery electric vehicles, we need to observe. So the 48 volt milled hybrid technology. So RD A6 limousine. So this type of a system you can observe here. A system which has a motor to assist the electrical cars to start and stop scenario, right? So the motor, what is the motor purpose? To start and stop the scenario. Here, the motor power, how much? How much power, motor power in this RD A6? Less than 25 kilowatt. And battery voltage is less than 60 volt for safety reasons. So, in this type of battery, we are using lithium and nickel cadmium chemistry. So, we need to give some chemistry to make that battery. So, and three phase and multi phase motors they are using RD company. They are implementing in their electric vehicle cars three phase motors or multi phase motors also they are able. So, you can observe here this is the DC 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 converter topology. 12 volt batteries and here 48 volt battery and 48 volt battery and start so here these are the different components in a 48 volt milled hybrid type of topology so then when you people are observing all the components main components of a, a fully battery electric vehicle if you observe here the battery backup is around 400 to 800 volt the battery pack up so you need to develop suppose we if you observe all of our people we, we people are observing all our mobiles the battery capacity is around 3000 milliampere hour or 4000 milliampere hour or 5000 milliampere so we are all using these are all smart devices so when you need to start your electric vehicle car that battery how much battery voltage we need so the battery backup is around 400 to 800 voltage and the inverter inverter for traction inverter we need to develop a 100 kilowatt inverter we need to develop traction motor and onboard charger here on to charge your electric vehicle car so you need to travel from hyderabad to vijayawada it is taking around four hours journey right when you when you travel so in the middle of the journey if you stop your electric vehicle battery is low at that point you need to charge your electric vehicle so then you need to develop onboard chargers right? in that onboard chargers here 3.3 kilowatt to 11 kilowatt up to you need to develop so here you can observe here 11 
charger. This one is the charger and the battery is controller part. Controller part is the ma major thing and transmission and motor part, uh, port box, DC to DC converter topology. This DC to DC converter topology will help how much capacity we need to develop? 3 kilowatt DC to DC converter topology we need. And the battery, internal to the battery and instrumentation as an electrical engineer we need to focus on mainly four major things one is battery and dc to dc converter topology and another one is motor and inverter topology so electrical engineers they will work on these major four parts only so mainly we will work on these four parts only so here components of if you observe all the components of electrical vehicle car you can see here batteries hydrogen tanks and fuel cells super capacitor solar panels if you are made in a solar related electrical vehicle on top of your uh, vehicle you are covered with the solar panels means then the daytime when you are traveling daytime automatically that solar panels will generate some power and you can drive your car safely but during the night time compulsory you need another source right so if you are getting when you are traveling in daytime at that point at that time if the excess power you will generate more amount of power means you can store that excess power in your battery in your battery so compared to the batteries the fuel cell will work effectively fuel cells and super capacitor also alternately we can use so they will work effectively solar panels or fuel cells we can store the energy whenever the solar supply is not sufficient means from that fuel cells we will take the supply we can run our vehicles so and the traction in water to converting dc to programmable ac for to running the motor onboard chargers to charge your batteries from the utility grid dc to dc converter to enable or power transfer between the high voltage and low voltage battery when you people are traveling with 150 km speed at that point you need a high power density to your motor so then from that battery you need to improve the voltages or de decrease the voltage you need to increase the voltages or decrease the voltage means low voltage to high voltage battery you need to maintain the voltage levels means compulsory we need one dc to dc converter topology what are the auxiliaries what are the auxiliaries here body control ecs and auxiliaries air conditioning system in our electric vehicle car and cabin heating system also so from all these uh, these are the major components in the electric vehicle car here traction inverter if you observe here the traction inverter is responsible for converting dc from the battery to ac power of the traction so this is the battery high voltage battery and the controller we are using and one three phase inverter we connected and the motor so this high voltage battery will convert dc into ac this high voltage battery we are storing the energy whether it is a 20 kilowatt battery or 40 kilowatt battery also it's not a problem so according to our requirement we need to uh, fix one battery right? we need to design the battery and we need to implement then that battery we need to convert dc into ac means we need compulsory one three phase inverter that three phase inverter will convert dc into ac means then that three phase inverter we are using six switches right so that six switches we need to give the switching signals that's that three three phase inverter will give the will come we need to give the switching signals from that these controller part so you can use pulse width modulation technique sinusoidal pulse width modulation technique or space vector pulse width modulation technique or any control technique you can implement any algorithms genetic algorithm artificial neural network algorithm fuzzy logic control algorithm. you can implement that one you can effectively switching you need to reduce the switching losses you need to reduce the switching loss when you are converting dc into ac means compulsory some losses are there switching losses and conduction losses are there then here you need to raise one more question which switch you will prefer whether igbt or mosfet you need to question so which switch the main challenge is right so here the motto of traction inverter is is advanced packaging methods to achieve high power densities and safe operation of the system safe operation of the system we need to drive our car safely means see this traction inverter will help to control the flow of power so these power electronic switches so ideal condition of power electronic switch losses becomes zero but 
when you are using these power electronic switches when you are converting dc into ac at that point the only disadvantages of power converters is harmonics will inject Harm unwanted harmonics will generate you need to overcome those harmonics then only you can give the quality of the power to the motor if you are generating more harmonics mean then the motor will not give long life also it will damage so within the sharp time it will damage then the power consumption become more so in your electric vehicle charging also we need to reduce the harmonic distortion as per IEEE standard we need to maintain the harmonic distortion 5% only and here so the types of charges you need to travel six hour journey you are fixing in your mind so whether it is a battery electric vehicle vehicle car or hybrid electrical vehicle car or plug-in hybrid whatever the electric vehicle car you are preferring you need to travel right so at that point you need to charge your mobile you need to charge we are how much time it is taking normal generally if you are observing our all our mobiles it takes time two hours time to take full charge we need to uh, fill the charge 100 percent means it is taking around uh, two hours right so when you need to charge a 20 kilowatt of your electric vehicle car battery how much time it will take so the charging card we need to use different charger card right we are using all we are using adapters right like that we need to fix one charging card you can level one can be used in any utility grade plug up to 15 amps you can observe here charging card here roper id source from the roper id and charging card level one it takes up to 20 hours and the voltage is 120 voltage 15 amps and power equivalent it is equivalent to toaster installation is self installation level two charging station is clipper creek and here it take around seven hours 240 voltage and 40 amps cloth dryer and the installation is fully professional and dc to fast dc fast charging it takes around 30 minutes only but voltage is 48 voltage 125 mp uh, 125 amps 15 central ac it is equivalent to 15 central ac and professional so level one case it will comes under utility grid utility grid means residential application you can charge your electric vehicle car at your home itself level one charge means so before starting your journey itself before one day you need to charge your electric vehicle car that charging station comes under residential application and level two it is professional so it will take around seven hours level two level three charging station it is a dc charging station professional one and it takes around 30 minutes only it will take you need to charge 20 kilowatt of your battery also it will take 30 minutes also so when you people are traveling 500 kilometers in the middle of your journey at least you will take 20 minutes rest now so it is sufficient to charge your electric vehicle right 20 minutes you will take rest at least coffee or tea we will take some rest right so at that middle at that sharp time we can charge our batteries also so that charging station comes under dc fast charging station then so what is the converter topology you need to implement so what are the charges different companies different companies all over the globe and indian so ac charger sockets we need to give some socket right so azaki socket jsa 1772 it will give 7.4 kilowatt 32 amps single phase japan and united states of america they are uh, so most of the, the those people they are using azaki socket and Menaki socket they are using 44 kilowatt 63 amps three phase europe europe and most of the people they are german germany so big automobile industry right so german they are using Menaki socket lee grande type socket 22 kilowatt 32 amps three phase france and italy so in the in that countries they are using lee grande socket so charge mode uh, come it, these three charger sockets comes under ac only if you observe your DC charger sockets here, char demo, char demo, 400 kilowatt, 1000 volt, 400 amps, CAN protocol, Japan and Korea, Nissan Leaf cars we are observing, Nissan Leaf, it is, it is that company from Japan, Japan itself, Kia, Kia and Mitsubishi, so Kia company, they started their manufacturing production in Andhra Pradesh, Anantapur also. So, Kia Motors, Mitsubi and Nissan Leaf type of cars and so GBT, GBT DC charger socket, they are using 237.5 kilowatt, 950 volt, 250 amps, CAN protocol, China and India, in India majorly Mahindra company, 
टेक महिंद्रा महिंद्रा कंपनी चैनीस एलेक्ट्रिक वेहिकल टेस्ला सूपर चार्जर टेस्ला सूपर चार्जर इट विल गिव वन थर्टी फाइव किलो वाट फोर टेन वोल्ट थ्री थर्टी एम कैन प्रोटोकॉल टेस्ला चार्जिंग स्टेशन टेस्ला एस Tesla three model cars they are using this type of charger connector. So here you can observe the onboard charger. You need to develop some onboard chargers right to charge the battery from the single utility grid. Get commands from the battery management system and vehicle accelerators, ECUs also. So one by third of power factor conversion converter. Isolated DC DC converter. So you need to think when you people are implemented a DC DC converter topology, which type of converter topology you are preferring? You are preferring isolated or non-isolated converter topology? You are implemented. So now the trend is the most of the companies, automobile industry, they are going with the isolated DC DC converter topology and resonant and PSFD. Uh, Phase shifted feed for uh, feedback DC to DC converter also so different mode modes which type of mode electric vehicle cars are there means grid to vehicle when grid filter means to avoid the unwanted harmonics to what to eliminate the unwanted harmonics means we need to connect one filter so from that utility grid we can charge our battery yes also so can we jump to start the roadside vehicles or not we need to think. The standard values SAE J1772 and Cha Demo. Cha Demo, uh, this one, these are the standards. So, the major parties, so they as electrical engineers, electrical research uh, engineers. So, as of now, we need to think the major four parts are one is DC to DC converter topology, battery management system, and DC to AC converter topology. That means inverter, later motor part. So, these are the four major parts. The electrical uh, engineers will contribute in electric vehicle, right? So, which type of converter topology you will you people will prefer? So the bidirectional link between the low voltage and the high voltage battery charges the low voltage battery from the high voltage battery, uh, pre-charges the high voltage line from the low voltage battery before closing the battery contact. So when you make a product, a real-time product, battery converter, DC to DC converter will be like this. You can see here visually. So how many types of converters are there means bidirectional dc dc converter so the topological classification here we given non isolated topology classification isolated topology classification so buck converter so in all our academic year either as per jntu or some andhra university or sv university as per telugu states we are preferring most of the uh, university they are giving non isolated converter topologies only in their academic syllabus but Apart from that, isolated topology also will play a key role in high power drive application. So here we given non-isolated topology classification, isolated topology, buck converter, boost converter. That means step up and step down converter topology, cut converter, sepik converter. So in case of why we need this many type of converter topology means we need to maintain the power factor near to unity. We need to maintain the power factor near to unity. So, if you are not maintaining the power factor near to unity means you are not purchasing the quality of the product, whatever, whether it is washing machine or refrigerator or AC also, the product quality of the product we need to purchase, right? So, you people are, when we are purchasing any product in online, either Amazon or Flipkart or uh, Mintra or Snapdeal, we are observing the star rating, right? So, like that, when we people are design an electrical converter topology, Topology. We need to maintain the near. We need to maintain a power factor near to unity, but near to not equal to one, but near to unity. We need to maintain compulsory. Here, this buck and boost converter topology converters will give 0.65 power factor correction only. 0.65 power factor. Cut converter topology. So these are the advanced converter topologies. This cut converter topology, the input current and output current ripples will reduce. The cut converter topology classification, the input ripples and the output ripples, current ripples it will reduce. Sepic, sepic type of converter, single ended primary inductor type of converter topology, the, this type of converter topology will give, reduce the switching power losses. Input power losses and the output power losses will reduce. So the Jeta type of converter topology, uh, Jeta type con, uh, Jeta type of DC DC converter topology, oh, most of uh, uh, they are using aerospace applications. Aerospace applications are using and flyback converter topology. 
and isolated these are all comes under isolated topology so when we are designing these isolated topology we need to give some control techniques right so here we are mentioned some control technique also pid controller technique sliding mode controller technique and fuzzy logic controller technique boundary control uh, boundary and digital control pulse width modulation and pulse width modulation switching power supply so these are the different control topologies uh, we need to implement so onboard chargers and dc 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 converter technology the technologies which are drive to in the dc dc converter topology means fast switching low loss devices galvanic and silicon based devices faster controller state of charges planar magnetics better packaging technologies we need to observe so these are the th major we need to make a product real time product means so these are the things we need to analyze so the power electron switches are fast switching devices so low loss also devices and here if you observe here the isolated dc dc converter topology the major difference between the isolated and non isolated is so non isolated converter topology we are transmitting the power from a dc link path from the source to load side we are transmitting the power through dc link path only so when we removing that dc link path when we are placing a linear transformer you can look at here you can observe here the basic topology based flyback cock and push pull forward type of topology these advanced topologies most of the automobile industry they are using these dc isolated dc dc converter topologies only so here mostly in onboard chargers using isolated dc dc converters so we are removing a dc link path we are placing a linear transformer means that will act as a, that so then we can call it as a isolated dc dc converter but this linear transformer will act as a coupled inductor coupled inductor it will act and we can we can transmit primary to secondary side high amount of power we can transmit so it is giving high efficiency in llc and phase shifted dc dc converter high power application suitable for llc and phase shifted dc dc converter topology so in this llc and uh, resonant llc resonance so what is meant by resonance at a particular frequency the inductances and magnitudes uh, inductances inductance and capacitance magnitudes we need to both equal each other means at that particular point we can say resonance will occur right so the llc resonant dc dc converter topology when so most of the companies so micro fuzzy in german and e train so now they are implementing a isolated resonant type of converter topology so when you are working with this resonant type of converter topology it will give 95 percent of efficiency 95 percent efficiency it will give and it will operate we can operate uh, it is operating on variable switching frequency more than 250 kilohertz so if you observe here we are using the mosfet switches only previously i asked one question which switches we will prefer mosfet or igbt so it is possible to both zero voltage switching and zero current switching here in this figure also we are mentioned mosfet switches only in mosfet switches only zero voltage switching zero current switching is possible so in igbt switches it is not possible so this converter topology when we are implemented it will give 95 percent efficiency so here phase shifted dual converter topology based on bridges it is possible to only zero voltage switching but it will give more than uh, llc resonant converter so the efficiency in dual phase shift converter topology it will give 98 percent of efficiency so we need to design right so by observing this dual phase shift converter topology we can design the model but which type of techniques you will use single phase shift technique extended phase shift technique dual phase shift triple phase shift which type of technique you people will use you people will uh, design here so we need to analyze this type of converter topology in open loop and closed loop when we will design in closed loop only then only we can say dynamically it will stable control we need to give the compulsory feedback path right so then only we can say the system become more stable also we need to control the output voltage means compulsory we need to analyze this model in closed loop man so here the power flow direction in this dual active bridge is uh, load uh, we high voltage lead low voltage in forward direction high voltage lag in uh, low voltage means reverse flow direction 
high voltage is in phase with the low voltage means no power flow here the maximum power flow is possible in both modes at a maximum phase shift angle 90 degree only so in this case here we are mentioned k less than 0.5 power is increases k greater than 0.5 power is decreases but if you are remembering dc dc converter topology we are maintaining with duty ratio right t on by t on plus t off switch on time by switch on plus switch off so we can we will tell d d is equal to duty ratio so that duty uh, duty cycle so here we are uh, mentioning k k means phase shift ratio phase shift ratio here we are main, uh, mentioning and so which type of uh, if you observe uh, the isolated non isolated topology so we are discussing isolated topology high power drive applications it will be very good so all non isolated convert dc dc converter topology less count passive elements you can observe here the advantage and disadvantages of uh, non isolated dc dc converter topology here the efficiency is more simple circuit control also easy so in isolated topology the circuit become more complex so to controlling also it is more difficult so here uh, all our smart devices we are using non isolated dc dc converter topology only. so but there is a, some drawback in there no protection we can use low application device 12 volt 9 volt 24 volt up to 48 volt we can use this non isolated dc dc converter topology in consumer electronics consumer electronics we can use so low applications when you are making low application non isolated dc dc converter topology you can observe here so when you make this type of machine so dual input dc dc converter topology motor end converter bldc motor so you people are preferring bldc motor we are preferring right so bldc motor is ac or dc so brushless dc motor is a ac motor inside of the dc motor we are removing that uh, uh, brushes and commutation process we are uh, replacing that one with permanent magnets we are replacing with that permanent magnet so that permanent magnets directly will collect the ac power only so before that we are connected one motor end converter that motor end converter will convert dc into ac so using this type of car is in real time you are saying 12x so then all people are not affordable right so we need to reach our product to lower people also lower middle class or poor people also we need to reach our product means then we need to reduce the cost we need to fix affordable price so at that point you need to reduce the price means then you can modify the converter topologies so where you are putting more investment in that product you can change some you can change some modifications means automatically the cost will be reduced so here modified dual input single output dc dc converter topology so this type of motor also so now most of the automobile industry they are preferring bldc motor because they are lightweight and high efficiency uh, call, uh, more, they will give more high, high efficiency com uh, compared to induction motor. So, com uh, compared to induction motor, BLDC motor will give more efficiency also. And here, you can observe here, uh, all non-isolated converter efficiency is more because of less passive components. And here, the selection of switches, I said now, which switches you will prefer, IGBT or MOSFET, when you are designing a DC-DC converter topology or inverter topology, which switches you will prefer, prefer. So, you can observe in this figure, so the low frequency up to 1000 volts, we can use IGBTs, narrow or small line or load variations, high voltage applications more than 1000 volt, operation at junction temperature more than 100 degree, so more than 5 kilowatt out 200 kilohertz but in case of igbt low switching frequency only we need to use so low voltage applications less than 500 wattage power only at that point only we can use this mosfet switch so which switch now you are in dilemma so the in the battle between the mosfet and igbt either which devices we can provide so the same depending upon the uh, different advantages we are given already you can observe here the conduction losses and switching losses also here you need to test both switches igbt and mosfet if you people are tested so the 134 kilohertz switching frequency you can take 
you need to develop a 500 voltage uh, dc dc converter topology at 134 kilohertz frequency 100 degree temperature you are tested so at that point igbt the switching power losses at output side it is giving losses how much losses it is getting 25.2 wattage losses we are getting igbt losses so in come when it comes to mosfet it gives uh, 23.9 wattage losses so so which one where we are getting less losses in mosfet devices only so when you are observing that at room temperature also so here in igbt case we are getting 17.8 wattage losses in mosfet switch 15.1 watts respectively so then the designer you are the designer you can select which switch is preferable which switches is preferable and here we have different type of machines we have different my type of machines we say but some companies permanent magnet synchronous machines nissan leaf type of cars they are using permanent magnet separately excited induction motors in bmw car they are using induction motors square gauge type of induction motors only tesla model s cars switched reluctance motor nedak punch power train synchronous reluctance motor Permanent magnet assisted synchronous reluctance motor Tesla Model 3 they are using. These are the machines. So different companies they are following. And here you can observe here. These are the types of motor. We people well know about AC and DC, single phase and three phase and series compound and shunt machine cells. And here you can observe which type of machine. So you can prefer permanent magnet synchronous machines, permanent magnet brushless DC motor. You can prefer IAAC Bangalore uh, professor. He written on uh, R Krishnan sir. He written on uh, permanent magnet machines. You can prefer uh, that uh, book. That book means it will be very useful also. So basic uh, permanent magnet machines. Uh, this permanent magnet machines also BLDC motor we can operate up to 10,000 RPM also. So here you can look at here have inherent permanent magnets high power density whenever if you observe the proc lines JCB so they need they dig uh, all JCBs and proc line they dig the land right. So at that point the power density to that motor we need to give high power density we need to give. So in the type of vehicles large vehicles large vehicles we are using the permanent magnet machines means they will operate with high efficiency also so can lead to jerk when started without proper angle information so voltage when whenever the over voltages will come means the inverter is turned off in case of failure of microcontrollers so we are designing the models in the matlab matlab simulink model we will design so when you make the product means real time real time products we are using the microcontrollers so need of need for active short circuit to avoid over voltage in field weakening models and the batteries we discussed right we discussed three type of vehicles hybrid electric vehicles plug in hybrid electric vehicles full electric vehicles right so in these type of vehicles which type of uh, batteries we are preferring so what is the weight you can blue mark you can see here in the hybrid electric vehicle car the battery is around 60 to 20 to 60 kg so in plug-in hybrid electric vehicle car the battery is 80 to 180 kg and the electric vehicle fully electric vehicle means the battery weight how much weight 200 to 700 kg you can see here one to third percent for hybrid electric vehicle car four to twelve percent for our plug-in hybrid electric vehicle car 17 to 32 percent for fully electric vehicle car so here these are the battery pack architecture tesla model 3 car you can look at here the battery pack architecture in tesla model 3 car the weight is 460 kg weight of the battery is 460 kg 26 percent total weight of the car is how much 1766 kg the length of this battery is 2.15 meter width 1.47 meter four modules here they are using 4416 battery cells they are using nominal voltage of this battery is how much 355 355 capacity is 217 amp hour 217 amp hour energy is 75 kilowatt of battery in tesla model 3 cars they are using and look at here this mercedes uh, benz 550e gle plug-in hybrid electric vehicle car the battery weight is total weight is 113 kg 113 kg only so modules 18 point 18 point 
86.4 kg and the, here 363 kg, 363 kg. And here the growth of electric vehicles in India. What are the what is the growth in further future generation? We need to see all our metropolitan cities. So it is worse, right? So every year we are observing in Delhi, they are facing so many problems in winter season, right? So due to pollution only, due to pollution. So, so we need to overcome that pollution means we need to shift pure electric vehicle cars means we can give a good society to the next generation people. The sale of electric vehicle cars in India, 37.5% of up to 20, 22,000 units in the year ended by in 2016 reports. So, from 16,000 a year, in 2015, how much units we are purchasing means 16,000, in the year 2016, uh, 22,000 only. So, every year it is increasing. So, what are the companies, uh, original equipment manufacturers in India is Mahindra, Maruti Suzuki, Toyota, BMW, Hero Motor Car, Tesla, Nissan and Mercedes are planning to launch electric and hybrid uh, vehicles in India in the coming years. Uh, Tark Motorcycles is trying to get uh, variant of the first electric motorcycle also in India. Tark Motors and Ether Grid, they are planning, uh, they are already planned in 2018, they are installed an electric vehicle charging station in Bangalore. But, so the customers are very less, electric vehicle uh, people who are purchasing electrical uh, scooters or bikes, they are very less or less. Then, the other grid company, they are think, uh, think they are getting some losses due to overcome those losses. They, uh, that company people only, they only uh, released a new electric scooter, new electrical scooter. So, then only they uh, overcome those losses also. So, future projects of electric vehicle cars, yeah, a new Blue, Bloomberg report. A forecast that sales of electric vehicles will hit 41 million by 20, 2040. So 41 million car electric vehicle vehicles we are using falling lithium ion lithium ion battery cast. So why these much cars we are using means so the battery cost is main thing in the electric vehicle car the battery cost. So from the last 10 years it is drastically decreasing. Now it comes around so one kilowatt of battery is at the 2010 it is thousand dollars like that. Now it comes four fifty dollars only 450 dollars only so falling lithium ion battery cost also united states europe india and china are giving buyers some incentives so we need to promote electric vehicles in hyderabad city or bangalore or delhi we need to promote means government also they are giving some uh, new schemes they are giving their uh, invested so much money in r d sectors purely electric vehicle those those who are interested those who are come with new thoughts on electric vehicle so in our research and development area they are invested nearly 350 crores also indian government they are invested environment protection agency is asking Volkswagen, Volkswagen to make electric vehicle cars in the US as part of way to help an automator automaker to get out of the threads of the emission scene emissions can so global emissions we need to raise so the raise of electrical cars you can see here what are the steps we need to take so india's power minister with independent charge for coal and power new renewable energy said that the government is planning to shift 100 percent electric vehicles by 20 we are planning indian government planning so they are releasing some uh, some schemes they are providing so national electric mobility mission plan and 2020 fame fame one fame two under fame two they invested 10000 crores from 2020 2022 they are uh, they are uh, sanctioned in the budget 10000 crores for ev industry only for automobile automobile they need to encourage right so we need to encourage the people suppose you people are purchasing an electric vehicle car we are giving this much discount uh, for electric vehicle so we need to give free electric vehicle charging station we need to charge their electric vehicle car with less cost also we need to provide some schemes then only the people will purchase now the fuel prices are also increasing right so we need to focus to shift electric vehicle cars means automatically we can reduce the pollution in India itself. The phase one scheme will be implemented over a two year period 2015 and 2016 and up to 10, 7.195 crore only but now 2020 and 22 they are uh, approved 
10,000 crores. Indian government, they are approved 10,000 crores. What are the market strategy we need to increase the market share with the increase in modes by keeping in mind one model won't fit for all. So increase the brand awareness of increasing number of vehicles on road. Create brand loyalty. We need to give good product. Then only we can observe. So the communication strategies, so pre-launch, banners, automotive magazines, social media, we need to promote huge, uh, we need to promote electric vehicles uh, with a huge manner, new launch events, debut announcement and test drive America, uh, America campaign. And like how the Tesla, Tesla, he created a new ecosystem in the US, like that our original equipment manufacturer, our investors, our industry people, they need to think, they need to promote like anything. They need to promote like EV industry is a big market in India, right? So he changed the uh, America, Tesla, he created a new ecosystem in America like that. Our original equipment manufacturer also, they need to think and they need to give some incentives to the customers also. So we more there are more mostly four types of batteries lithium ion lead acid nickel cadmium nickel metal hydrate type so and new trends what are the new trends in the th thought process means fast change coming years which uh, trends gets going on fast charging so we need to charge our vehicle within the 15 minutes or 10 30 minutes means fast charging uh, 50 kilo, uh, 50 kilowatt to 20 200 kilowatt battery so wireless charging so mit massachusetts of institute of technology they are already implemented uh, for low voltage applications only low location also we can see why without connecting any wires we can charge our vehicles also so wireless charging it is a big area uh, to research oriented people and energy management voltage and high voltage buses do we need any low voltage battery what about the safety of electrical cars to operators and service personnel when we are purchasing so the safety when we have met an accident automatically we will go to a garage right so and that the people who are uh, to we are trained the people are not we need to think and a high voltage versus low voltage system area suffer which areas we need to work means newer controller topologies reducing weight reducing the cost better packaging better sensing increasing the efficiency optimization of energy management in these areas we can focus more on and international standards international electro technical commission standards a rated supply voltage up to 10,000 voltage ac for up to 1500 voltage dc character 6 and operating conditions of the electric vehicle supply equipment specifications of the connection between the e volt electric vehicle supply equipment and the ev provides uh, IEC 62196 provides a general description of the interface between an electric vehicle EV charging station as well as general mechanical and electrical requirement and tests for flux socket outlets vehicle connectors and vehicle inlets they are intended to be used and here the references uh, manufacturer www.duracell.com uh, books some books for battery assignments a battery reference book, uh, D. Burnett Maintenance, and C. Vincent, I. Butchman. I. Butchman, these are the company books uh, you can refer. Here we will see a, a basic example, then how to design a converter topology in DC, uh, in MATLAB. So MATLAB, have, MATLAB is like a ocean. So you can, uh, everyone know, I think, everyone, you people are already well know about the MATLAB. So more, all over the world, all over the globe, more than 6,500 universities, they are using MATLAB only. So MATLAB is not a open source, MATLAB is a licensed tool. So when you need to make a product, whatever the product, all the automobile, uh, automobile industry, they are following three steps. So first we need to design the model. So when you people are designing an electric vehicle car, so you need to design that model first in MATLAB. You need to design, so that you need to design in MATLAB, Later, you need to implement in the sill. So there are mainly three steps, mill, sill, hill. Model in the loop, software in the loop, hardware in the loop. So when you overcome these three steps, you can successfully achieve whatever your thought, what is, uh, uh, as per your requirement, you are getting uh, all these, all the inputs means, as per your input, you are getting the output also. You are uh, successfully 
done all these three steps mean then your product will become you can go to in real time market also if you are getting any problem in these three steps so uh, no uh, you can't go to uh, real time product also here this is the command window and uh, this is current folder uh, workspace whatever the variables we typed here it will be stored here and this is the current directory path so we have number of toolboxes are there in matlab so more than to 100 toolboxes are there here i will show you a bidirectional dc dc converter topology a battery man battery by connecting a battery 120 voltage here i took you can see here 120 voltage battery i took so then in that battery voltage we discussed how many type of batteries lithium ion lead acid nickel metal and nickel metal hydrate type of battery four type of batteries we people are discussed so here i took a battery across this battery i connected one capacitor for 1400 uh, uh, 1200 microfarad capacitor i connected then these two switches connected i connected two switches this is bidirectional dc dc converter topology so this converter topology we can use step up and step down also here then how to control this converter topology by connecting a closed loop feedback path here i connected this one and here this is the load right so here in this point i given you can check here in this battery you people observe here so this is we need to invest more money in this uh, matlab actually all the colleges technical engineering colleges all they are invested some money 5 lakhs or 10 lakhs and they will purchase the license so in in some some companies they will purchase more so according to our requirement we need these many toolboxes means that the cost will be vary and here in this battery i took 120 voltage and from that 1200 microfarad and inductor in parallel with this one 4.5 milli henry 0.3 ohms i take here later i took here two switches for these two switches i connected one control technique i need to implement right so we discussed dc dc converter topology four type of topology right so here lithium ion battery i selected lithium ion battery here and the nominal voltage is 120 voltage and 100 voltage here i took so later uh, initial state of charge 50 percent initial state of charge means your battery so you we people are getting uh, less than 15 percent means in our mobile we are getting red symbol right like that initial state of charge less than the state soc 50 percent means we need to charge our battery so more than 50 means we can utilize that one less than 50 means automatically we can charge our electric vehicle car or bike battery so here you can see here this this is the nominal voltage parameter these are the discharge parameters so this discharge parameters here i selected so more than the if you observe the specifications of your mobile battery also so nominal voltage they will give one voltage and the maximum voltage here how much we took here so 139.675 i took so nominal discharge current 43.478 and internal resistance maximum capacity is 100 ampere hour so you can see here the battery characteristics here you can see so you can plot the battery car after fixing all your values you can check here battery characteristics also here you can check the battery characteristics we can plot the graph so these two switches the main thing we need to control we need to step up one switch will act as a boost converter so the bidirectional dc dc converter this one boost and buck we can operate this one but here i given 120 voltage i need to control the output voltage up to 300 so that's the reason in this reference voltage i given 300 voltage so the reference voltage i given 300 and i given the controller test so mostly in generally initial time so when we are designing any converter topology we need to observe the closed loop feedback math means compulsory we will go to the pa controller or pad controller proportional integral controller pa controller will help to reduce the steady state error voltages so in all our bikes or cars there is a one feedback path right compulsory we are giving one feedback path that due to that feedback path only we are controlling the speed of our vehicle suppose when you people are traveling 60 kilometer speed then you are going 
So when you need to travel 20 kilometers means when you are applying the brakes, automatically vehicle is in your control, right? So that feedback path is nothing but the here PA controller. Either voltage controller or speed controller also, we can give the PA controller. Apart from this PA controller, up to linear uh, loads only. So non-linear loads, complex system become more complex means we can go to the sliding mode controller technique or phase shifting technique technologies also. And now recent trend, artificial neural network, fuzzy logic techniques they are implementing. Real-time product. We can't implement in prototype board, fuzzy logic, artificial neural network. So we can implement this PA controller in prototype board. Here this is the battery characteristics and you people observe here. So here I given the 300 as the reference voltage. This is the controller part. This is the controller part for boost converter and buck converter. This is the feedback. This is the reference uh, sum block. This reference block. This is uh, this sum block or error block also we can say KP KI value I2. KP value 0.02 I2 and KI value 3 I2 then I integrate. Integrated so one gain and integrator so it will act as a integrate uh, proportional and integral block then the saturation block here i took in this repeating sequence block i took 5 kilohertz frequency only so up to we can take how much switching frequency we can take in non isolated converter topology or mosfet or isolated topology more than 200 kilohertz also switching frequency we can take here but here i took 5000 switching frequency only this is the uh, this is boost converter and this is the buck converter so when I run this model, when I run this model in this library only, so we can go to directly library from that library, we can take all the blocks. So according to that, before that, we need to analyze the mathematical model, the mathematical model analyze we need to done after that, we need to take the, all the blocks, then we need to implement this one. So by implementing with the PA controller technique here, I am able to control with 300 voltage only. Here different toolboxes are there, aerospace, audio system. So not only electrical engineers, all the domain people, they are working on MATLAB only. So now neural network, artificial intelligence, machine learning also, we can work in this MATLAB. So some automobile industry, they are preferring Simulink, state flow also to run all the vehicles. And here we are giving, a, here I will connect one scope also. So we can run this model means we can see the output voltage whether we are controlling 300 or not. We are achieving uh, by giving the feedback path 300 voltage. We are able to control the output voltage or not. We can test here. So it is compiling. The only disadvantage is it is uh, uh, it will be slow and cost high cost MATLAB. So MATLAB we can use aerospace applications, robotic applications, and embedded system, and all the domain applications we can use MATLAB. So it is like a ocean. Uh, we have big opportunities in automobile industry. So it is running now. We can see here we are giving the reference voltage 300 voltage. It is up to, it is coming here near to 299.9 something. So we can observe here the graph also we can observe here. Here we can uh, see the output voltage, how it will be. So initially when we are giving the supply inductor will charge, when the switch will off, inductor will release the energy. So the voltage distortion we are decreasing the we are uh, maintaining low or not we need to observe if the voltage distortions are very high main then we are not we will not say uh, uh, we are giving the quality of the power so here you can see here so here i am using 2016 a version now the mathworks people they released 2020 a version also so here it is started from zero it reaches to some peak value you can observe here it is started from zero it reaches to some peak value and it comes to down oscillate and it will be settled down so here near to 300 voltage time so you need to change the background color go to view and change the background color style you can change that background color also and each of and everyone thank you all thanks to vbit management once again and
thanks to all the participants who are patiently listening my uh, this class and give your valuable feedback in the below comments you can give your valuable feedback and those who are came newly came uh, to attend this session i mean subscribe our channel every day we are updating uh, some new concept you can subscribe our channel means you will get that notification and thanks to hod madam and principal sir and convener sir uh, special specially vbit management uh, thanks for giving this opportunity to pantech e learning and to me and if any mistakes also done means please mention the comment uh, we can rectify those mistakes by communic communication or any language improvement or any uh, technical technical also you can mention some uh, comments so we can overcome that one we can give our best coming uh, next sessions so ho i hope you people get some knowledge you people enjoy this session uh, each and every one uh, vbit management and hod madam and pantech management and thank you all uh, have a good